all right you guys this is the final review from me this is um it's your boy jb you guys come up with i want you guys to help me come up with a name for you guys that's what i want you guys to help me do come up with a name um i have two names in my head for my you know subscribers i have the b squad i have you know the romans because my middle name is jerome let me know what you guys want like b squad romans Whatever you guys th can think of, come up with, let me know. Let me know what you guys want to be called. I'm open to suggestions. Um, I'm open to suggestions. But yeah, before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel and you're not subscribed to the channel, why are we still going on a date with you guys, each other? And I'm, you know, I'm the one that's paying for the bill. So, um, without further ado, hit that subscribe button, by the way. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. All right, you guys. So. First up, let us talk about Erica. Erica, Erica, Erica. There's the person that walked by my car a few minutes ago in the last review. Erica. So Sutton goes and picks up Erica, right, you guys? In the new car that Erica um, Sutton bought in the last episode, right? So um, as Erica and Sutton were driving, someone yelled out to Erica, Don't divorce Tom! Girl, I would. <laughs> we gonna talk about Erica because I really do have an issue with Erica. And if you guys know me, I if you guys even follow me on Twitter from the last few since Erica's joined Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, I've said it from day one. I love Erica. Like Erica has been my girl from the beginning. I fucks with Erica. I rocks with Erica. Erica is my girl. But this season, I I have a bit of a side eye for Erica. And I'm going to talk about it. So, Erica and Sutton go to this spa, right? Sutton has, you know, closed the spa off. So, it's just Erica and her in the spa. So, um, you know, Sutton is asking Erica, how is she? She says, you know, she says she has some good moments. But then she has moments where she feels alone. Understandable. I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know, she, she's not going to feel like that. After being with Tom for 20-something years, 21 years. Understandable. But the thing with me, with Erica, is at this point, Erica is working this whole angle of Tom is a monster. But if Tom was such a monster, why were you why were you with him for 21 years? Oh, I know why, Erica. And you guys know, like I said, I love Erica. And I really do hate to talk bad about Erica, but I got to. Erica, at this point, you want to make Tom the monster. But like I said, you were with Tom for 21 freaking years. Why now? Why didn't you leave Tom before? It was because of what Tom was doing for you in your career. That's why. That's why. And like I said, she's painting him off as the monster. I think what Erica is really... Erica in her acting is not that great, but Erica is really painting Tom as the monster, the villain. So that way, I guess if this, you know, if, you know, if the um, court subpoenas you know, the footage of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills from how long she's been on the show, they'll go up to this season, they'll be like, oh, Erica was talking about what, what a monster Tom was. Erica is, you know, distancing, distancing, distancing herself from Tom. Look at her, look at her. You know, yes, he footed the bill for her career, but now look at her. You know, she's having these, you know, these flashback moments, these aha moments about, oh, Tom wasn't this, Tom was a bad guy. Tom was a monster. Look at look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. You know, that's what Erica is doing. Erica is trying to get herself out of it. Now, do I think that Erica knew full well what Tom was doing? This is a this is a hard now that's a hard one for me. Do I feel that Erica knew what Tom was doing? Not a hundred percent. I'm not gonna say a hundred percent of me feels that Erica knew what Tom was doing. But I do think that Erica had some inclinations of what Tom was doing. You can't tell me that you didn't question where was he getting all of this money from. Yes, lawyers do make a good percentage from their clients. But the amount of money that Tom was bringing in, especially if you guys watch The Housewife and The Hustler. Yeah, it just, it makes you, it, 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 you know, it would, my, my, my radar would have went up, but I probably would have been like, you know what, damn, what I have said, you know what, that ain't got nothing to do with me. No, because I probably would have asked like, is, you know, 
because I'm 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 someone that I don't want to go. To, I don't look good in prison stripes, and I don't look good. I do look good in orange, but I don't look good in prison stripes. And I'd be like, you know what time is this? Like on the up and up, like because uh, I got questions. But yeah, you know, she's like I said, she's playing Tom up as the victim. I mean, as the, as the monster, and she's the victim in and all this stuff. So then, um, sudden as Erica, are you are you still upset with Tom for not coming to New York? And she says, Oh yes, I'm so upset with Tom for not coming to New York. You know, he is the re- you know he's he he did this for my career, and he's one of the reasons that I got where I got. Okay, Erica, I'm over you. I'm I'm, I'm really over Erica. And again, like I say to you guys, I love Erica, but I can't with this whole I'm a victim situation. I can't. But let's move on. All right, guys, let's talk about Crystal real quick. It really wasn't much in this episode with Crystal, so I'm going to do everything I can to stretch this out with Crystal so that way I can, I can at least get a whole minute in for Crystal segment. Um, I like Crystal. That's one thing I will say. I really do like Crystal. I think Crystal is a great addition for this show and this cast. I, I, I rock with Crystal. So we see Crystal in this episode, and Crystal is at her house, and she's kickboxing, right? And from what I saw, I'm like, damn, Crystal is really good at kickboxing. You know, I actually thought about at one point getting into boxing because I just, you know, sometimes you just want to punch out your aggressions just to get some stuff out and get stuff, you know, I'd be like, I want to box. So like I said, Crystal is really good at the boxing um, from what we can see. So her daughter comes up, right? And her daughter wants to, you know, wants to do it, you know, join her. But she's like, I don't want to take a shower. And that's how that's how I be feeling sometimes when it comes to me working out. I'm like, oh, I want to go to the gym, but I just took a shower and I don't want to come back home and take another shower. Like, I just don't want to do that. Like, because when I work out, I get I get really, really, really sweaty. Like my clothes be sticking to my body and everything. It's just like, oh, God, that is not that is not the look for me. So then, you know, Crystal tells us that she got into kickboxing as a way to lose her baby weight from her son, Max. And we see, you know, her son, Max, he's out there boxing. That, you know what, I really do need to look into boxing because that is something that I really would like to do. I got a minute in with Crystal. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's really what all happened with Crystal in this episode, kickboxing. But we're going to talk about Crystal a little bit more when we get to um, this dinner party that they had or whatever they had. I don't know. Let's move on. All right, guys. Next up, let's talk about Garcelle. And uh, again, so this episode really didn't give a lot. I think that's really what it is. This episode didn't give very much. I think we got more towards the end of the episode. So Garcelle. So we all know Garcelle is working over at, over at the Real. Now, um, from what I've heard about the Real, their future is you know not looking too bright right now. They don't know what the future of the Real you know is holding. I'm glad Garcelle got this chick. Because, you know, like I said, the future of the real is kind of up in the air because I know I've heard things about, you know, the fact that Nick Cannon's television show, Nick Cannon's talk show will be taking their time slot. Now, in my local, in my market, the real comes on at 1 p.m., which that's an actual really good time slot. But I never watched the real. I mean, I have my two TVs. I have my TV in my living room and in my bedroom. Now, if you know anything about me, I'm when I'm watching TV, I'm watching General Hospital at 1 p.m. Love me some GH. And sometimes I'll watch the ladies of The Real. So she's wrapping up at The Real. You know, this is not what I what Garcelle... Now, Garcelle has done a, um, a, 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 a daytime talk show before. She did one a few, a few years ago with um, Ross Matthews. She did one with Ross Matthews because I watched that show. But, um, yeah, you know, it's not what she, you know, she thought she would be in a studio with her own parking space, but instead she's in her house. So then we find out that one of the, the fishes died, and the fish was, the die was the one that she named Kyle. They were going to replace it, but they didn't get, they didn't have enough time to get around to it. So then, um, she asked her sons, Jade and, um, what is the other one? J- Jade and Jax, I believe that there's, I believe that, I believe that's their names. So she asked them how would they feel if she got married again, right? Um, I can't. I don't. I think. I think the one that said he's okay with it, but it won't happen, is Jax. And I think the one that said, you know, he doesn't want her to get married at all is Jade. I believe that's her kids' names. Garcelle, if that's if I'm wrong, I apologize, you guys. I know one of them. Is, I know one of them is Jax. I do know that. 
I do know Jax. And I think Jax is the one that said he's okay with it, but it's not going to happen. But, um, yeah, that's it for Garcelle. Let's move on. All right, guys, let's talk about Renner, right? Erica, Erica, Erica. Girl. So Erica went over to Renner's house, right? Erica showed up in her new Range Rover. I'm like, oh, my God, girl. I've told you plenty of times before, Erica, what is the word? Modesty. But like one of my, like one of the subscribers said, Erica doesn't know modesty. Erica would know that word if it came up and tied her shoes. Girl, like I get it. They're not suing you specifically, but you're tied to Tom. And the whole thing is Tom footed the bill for your career. Girl. So, you know what? That's actually a really good question when it comes down to this. Who the fuck is this calling me from Frankston, Texas? Shall y'all leave a fucking voicemail? Because I don't know who you are. Frankston. I don't know who that was. <coughs> don't know who that was. Frankston. Frankston. Have I done anything since I've been here in Tyler? Have I applied for anything? Have you applied for anything? Down, have you done anything? I mean, you bought stuff. But you haven't given... I haven't... Have I given people my phone number? Did I give somebody my phone number that I don't... I don't remember. Did I give someone my phone number that I don't remember giving my phone number to? I don't know. They'll leave a voicemail. Um, oh yeah, we need to do, um, get myself together for the week's hottest topics too. And we'll come back. Actually, we'll do the week's hottest topics from my, um, from the crib in my car, still in the car. Um, so yeah, back to Erica, modesty. You need to learn what that word means. Um, so then, you know, she's telling Gar Renna that she went over to Garcelle's new house. It's nice. And that she and Garcelle had a conversation, right? She says that Garcelle told her something that she heard in the, you know, heard from, um, you know, in the streets that Tom was seen out with a woman. Did she say that a, a blonde woman that was in her sixties? Tom has a type, huh? Blonde. And half his age, huh? Blonde and half his age. So then, you know, um, Erica addresses some of the rumors about her that she was seen out with her dancing partner from Dancing with the Stars, Scooter Braun. And she says it's just not true. She hasn't saw them in, you know, some time now. So then they mentioned, you know, Amelia being with Scott Disick. Here's the thing. I remember seeing that Amelia was with Scott Disick. Scott likes him young. But here's the thing with me with, with Scott. I thought Scott was with that Richie girl. I thought Scott was with um the, the, the young Richie girl. I can't, I can't think of what her name is. But that's what I thought Scott was with. Scott gets around. And that's not a good look. Not a good look at all. Um, now, Renna said at first when she saw, you know, um, Amelia was telling her about Scott, they were just friends. But then she saw those pictures of them at the beach, which I saw that picture too. And it ain't just a friendship thing. But she says, you know, Harry's okay with it. She is kind of nervous about it. I would be too. Scott is just really, yeah, nope. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get good with it. So Kyle calls them. They, they went Christmas shopping for Erica's house. I'm like, once again, Erica, why are you, you know, girl, why do you just go to the Goodwill, the Salvation Army somewhere and buy some, some, some shit, some knockoff shit, some used shit, some knockoff shit? I don't know. Erica, why don't you do something? You know, maybe you should donate some of your clothes. Maybe you should donate some stuff. Maybe you should donate some stuff. Be like, hey, you know what? I didn't know what Tom was doing, but I don't condone what he did. So let me donate. Let me donate this money, this little money. That, donate this million here to charity. Donate this million here to this charity. Actually, what you should do, like those kids with that plane, throw them, a little, throw them some, some money. Now, when it comes to those other couples, those other people... You know what, just throw, you know, just find a children's fund 
and throw a, a, a million they away. That's what you could do. Let's move on. All right, you guys. So let's talk about Kyle re- real quick. In her individual scene, it was that's what I'm noticing. In this episode, it was very. This was a filler episode. The more that I think about it, this was a filler episode. And I'm still confused. I'm like, how how do I how am I giving you, you know what I must have had a lot to talk about today? Because I just realized I'm giving I know that this video is gonna be pretty long. Um, I guess it's long because of Erica. So Kyle, you know, Portia has really grown up. So they're talking about Portia's bot misfit, right? And they're gonna have a small service because of COVID. And you know, um, like I've been, it's, it's interesting watching Beverly. You know, I've been watching Beverly Hills since season one. And Portia has really grown up. So, you know, Kyle told us about Portia and her relationship with um, with Sophia. How, you know, when they took Sophia off to school, Portia had, you know, Por- Portia didn't handle it well. So they they have a surprise for Portia, right? So Alexia shows up. How old is, well, I think it said Alexia is 24 now. So Alexia showed up to the house and the surprise was Sophia. So Sophia is going to be there with them for what a week. She said, I, just think, I think she said maybe two weeks or so. So, and P- Portia was so happy to see her sister. And it, it was just, that was one of the best scenes of this episode was seeing Portia light up and cry because she's happy to see her sister. Because she loves, I mean, that is, that is, that is sweet. I ain't, I don't feel nothing like that for my siblings at all. I would never, I wouldn't cry. I don't, I wouldn't cry. Sorry. Love my brothers and my sister, but I don't think I would cry like that. No, I wouldn't. Then let's talk about Dorit real quick. Let's just throw her in because she had a nothing-ass scene. Dorit with that painting of herself. You said in your interview that when you would go to people's house and you would see stuff like that, you would think how narcissistic. Girl, you are a narcissist. Like, you give me narcissistic, you give me a, e- a big ego. Like, girl. Okay, Whatever. Whatever. So then we see all the ladies as they're getting ready to head over, you know, head to um, Kyle's event that she's having, right? Kathy, Kathy is my girl. Love me some Kathy Hilton. Sutton, I have an issue with Sutton, right? So, you know, um, Kyle and Sutton are talking about Crystal, right? And Sutton in her, you know, Sutton was talking, you know, they were talking about, you know, Crystal's sense of humor, how they, you know, Kyle has saw Sutton's sense of humor. Sutton says, oh, I haven't seen her sense of humor, but I have saw her tits. I'm like, that's what the woman was talking about, right? That's what the woman was talking about. That's what she was talking about. She felt violated. Like, oh my freaking God. She felt violated by you. God. Um, I'm going to pause here and we're going to move forward, you guys. All right, you guys, we're back. First of all, y'all weren't going to tell me it's July 1st. I did not realize today was the first. 15 more days to my birthday, a hey, 15 more days till my birthday, a hey, 15 more days till my birthday, 15 more days till my birthday, oh, oh, my birthday is in 15 days, I did not realize it was July 1st, I really don't know what I was thinking, my birthday is in 15 days, we gonna talk about this in every review going forward, we are counting down to my 32nd birthday, can't believe I'm about to be 32. Can y'all believe I'm 32? Do I look 32 to y'all? 32. Cannot believe that. So, you guys. Um, so we get to this party, right? Now, I want to read to you guys a definition real quick that I just, you know, pulled up. So the definition for the word violate. Um, violate says to fail, fail to respect someone's peace, privacy, or rights. They denied that human rights were being violated, right? So that is the definition of violate. So the dinner. So we sit, so all the ladies, they meet up and then they discuss Scott for a few minutes. Scott and Amelia, I don't care. If Scott and Amelia like it, I love it. Um, so Garcelle talks about her son, Oliver, who, you know, Gar- Garcelle talked about her son before. You know, he, I think he was on drugs. If he wasn't, I'm so sorry to say that. But I believe he was on drugs. But, you know, he's gotten his life together. And, you know, his um wife sam she had three kids prior to them getting together right and garcelle felt a way about that but after they had their their son garcelle realized that you know that was the best thing that could have happened to oliver 
and now those all of them are her grandchildren. And hey, Renna, Scott's kids might be your grandkids at some point. It ain't gonna happen. Um, so then they start talking about dating. So Garcelle is dating three guys. She met them on Bumble. Um, what else happened? Erica, 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 Erica. Girl, I really, at this point, really wish that she would stop talking about money and zeros. Because, you know, she's talking about the next guy she wants. Whatever guy she gets with has to have a lot of zeros behind his name. Girl, no. So, then, now, mind you, this is Kyle's event. But Kyle managed to bring up the situation between Crystal and Sutton. I'm like, that had to be the producers that told Kyle to bring that up, right? So they feel some type of way about the fact that Crystal said that she felt violated by Sutton. Once again, what did the definition of violate say? It says, fail to respect someone's peace, privacy, or rights, right? So they are going with the whole notion of when you violate someone, typically when you think of someone when you think of someone being violated, you think of, an, and when you say someone violated you, most people do get the whole thing of sexual, you know, like sexual violation as in, you know, the, the R word, the R word, or, you know, or the R word or the M word. People get that one. But like I just said with the Webster's Dictionary version of um, violate. It's like I said, it says fail to respect someone's peace, privacy or rights. So in this in this particular instance, Crystal is correct. Sudden did violate her. Sudden violated her privacy. S Crystal was in her room naked. Sudden. Now I'm, I'm, I'm not not I'm not knocking sudden. Sudden said she, and we did see sudden. She knocked. But when you knock on the door, you wait for someone to say, hey, come in my room. Oh, 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 or you, you know, you wait for, or in Crystal's defense, Crystal would have said, hey, son, hey, whoever it is, I'm naked. Like, you know, give me just a minute to, you know, get a towel, get my robe, get whatever. But no, she didn't do that. She walked into the room and she says, oh, I don't know what's going on over here. Implying that she's doing something that is, I guess you, and the way that Sutton said it, you would think that Crystal was doing something obscene. And when I say something obscene, you guys know what I mean. Masturbating. That's really what it that's really what you would think. Especially with her being naked. You would probably think she was masturbating or having phone sex with her husband. Which nothing is wrong nothing is wrong with either one of those things. And like I said in last week's episode, she could have been smoking a blunt. <laughs> it is Cali. But they feel so strongly about that word violate, but in the in the definition of violate. Crystal is 100% correct. That sudden violated her privacy. So Crystal sudden's like, you don't want to make me angry. Girl, what you going to do? Cry your white woman tears? Girl, sudden miss me with the bullshit. I'm so glad that Crystal did not back down on that word violate. Crystal, you are A1 in my book. I rock with you the long way. Don't back down to these ladies. Like, it's so it's so interesting seeing these white women get offended by these words you know like Aubrey on on the encore got um offended by the word divisive now sudden is getting um offended by the word violated now garcelle you chimed in as well garcelle i love you but shut up and mind your business because like i said crystal was violated her space her privacy it was violated that's it you guys that's all i got to say let me know what you guys think about the episode. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. I want it to die down between Crystal and Sudden, but let me know whose side you guys are on when it comes to the Violate. Are you on Crystal's side or are you on Sudden's side? And keep in mind, I just gave you guys a definition of Violate. Whose side do you side? Who do you side with in this situation? So leave, leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop things else and share this video. Until the next one, stay safe, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands, wear your mask or not. Stay safe, you guys. Be blessed. And I'll catch you guys later on for um, what comes on tonight. Today is Thursday, right? Oh, wow. Today is Thursday. I'll catch you guys later for um, 
You guys will get the week's hottest topics, and you guys will get, um, and that'll probably all be up tomorrow on Friday. Um, so yeah, you get the week's hottest topics and growing up hip hop. So until then, you guys, bye. See you guys later. This will turn off. Oh, 